getting my ham ready for my Christmas Eve party tomorrow night. And I have ball, sugar, coke. Got a big saucepan. It's pouring the entire contents of the bottle. I am making cream and something. So brownies. I really want a brownie. I'm gonna fit my macros. So I read up a lot online, look up recipes, and then I just do some soup and macros and it's trial and error. And that's what cooking and baking is. Trial and error. I have my piece of gammon. Ham is actually called gammon before it's cooked. Also fact. Uh, I am going to boil it now in the coke and I've been reading up online and the instructions are that you boil it in water, whatever you, your preference is to boil it in. You can boil it in cider, you can boil it in whatever. And the coke is going to give it like a kind of caramelise and go in and infuse it with the sugar flavour. And I'm going to boil it now for 30 minutes per half a kg. This is about just over 2 kg, but it does say that if it comes fresh from the fridge, you just give it a bit of extra time. So I'm going to give it about two and a half hours. So you bring it to the boil and then let it simmer for two and a half hours. You're being very noisy here. Yeah, you're being very noisy. So I'm just going to add a few bay leaves. I did, I think I added too much coke, so note to self. Put your piece of meat in the saucepan first, then pour over the coke. It should be covered in coke, but I don't think my saucepan is quite big enough, but we'll see how we get on. It should be okay. I'm gonna add like three bay leaves, just for a bit of extra flavor. It's all up to you, your pre preference, how you garnish. I know bay leaves add a really nice flavor to like even couscous and different things, chicken, when you're baking them. Lex's mum will add like some bay leaves to her rice while she's eating it. So. Just, you know, fun flavours. Check it out. It's looking pretty disgusting. All that sugar coming off the coke. Gross. That just shows what people drink when they drink. I just don't understand people who drink full sugar coke. It's just empty calories. It does not appeal to me at all. I love my Pepsi Max, don't get me wrong, but like, uh, zero sugar. It's probably not the best for me. But I'm all about the keep the calories as minimal as possible and still enjoying your food. There's like a really strong caramel flavour and the smell. Mm, actually smells really good. So it just comes to the boil so now I'm gonna leave it for about two and a half hours. It's half nine now. So that'll give me half ten, half eleven, twelve o'clock. So midday should be boiled and ready and then we'll get on to the next step. The ham is successfully boiled and it actually tastes delicious already and it hasn't been roasted yet mm. it's just so sweet and there's a big layer of fat here i trimmed back the fat and i've scored it with a knife and i've put some cloves in now i am about to um just add some french mustard so i just got this from asda i am going to put some golden syrup so you can put honey golden syrup maple syrup whatever you want you just need the sugar kind of glazed front top now again i say this is not healthy and at the moment i have a lot of other unhealthy treats on the go so this is for christmas day so i have made a rocky road christmas pudding so it's in the fridge but as you can see it's in a bowl got no so when i tip that out it's going to look like christmas pudding but I have marshmallows, Oreo cookies, some dried fruit, um, and um, just have it all in um, dark chocolate with some of the golden syrup. Again, not healthy at all. Uh, you can't even imagine the math goes on it. But this is for Christmas Day, and it's our treat. And I'm going to put um, a layer of like milk chocolate on top and let that set, so it'll be covered, completely covered in chocolate. And then when that's set, I'm gonna sprinkle a layer of um, drizzle some white chocolate on top so it'll look like a proper Christmas pudding with cream and everything on top and I'm hoping Lex will have time to make some sugar paste um, holly to put on top so that really cute and I also have in the oven some brownies so that is also I'm going to have that with some Bailey's ice cream um, so bring in the Irish and in the brownies I have some cream cheese through it and hazelnuts and raspberries so it's going to be so tasty yeah, we're going bad. We're going real, real bad for Christmas. I'm going to make soup for a Christmas Eve party, but this is a completely macro-friendly addition to any daily meal. I'm going to make 
a healthy soup because Lex is still counting his macros and he's trying to just rein it in until Christmas Day and Boxing Day or St. Stephen's Day as we call it in Ireland and um, he just wants to enjoy his food them days kind of guilt free so on Christmas Eve I'm having some like pretty healthy snacks for him so he can still enjoy the day as well. Uh, healthy soup time. Okay so to make my healthy soup the ingredients we will need peppers. I have four of them because I'm making a big batch but it's up to you how much you put in but I suggest maybe two, three well, I've got four of these big peppers because I'm making a big batch peppers. We have pre-sliced red onion. There is 225 grams. I think that's the equivalent of about two red onions. So I have pre-sliced because I'm a lazy bitch. We have butter and squash and sweet potato. Again, pre-sliced. Um, you can buy it in any supermarket. Uh, or just buy fresh sweet potato and uh, butter and squash. Chop it up yourself. I use maybe one butternut squash and one um, large sweet potato. Here I've got two bags of pre-prepared. Then you will need some stock cubes, vegetable stock cubes. I am using a reduced salt one, just to reduce the salt down a bit. And then basil. This is going to add some mega flavour to your soup. You'll be thanking me for putting in the basil. So a whole, this much uh, there is a... Uh, 28 grams in this. So you want a whole bag and um, you need the extra flavour. And then we have low fat quark. You can get this in most supermarkets. And 2 grams of fat per 100, 3.9 grams carbs and 12.2 grams of protein. So this is hitting your protein all low carb, low fat. And we just add that in to make it creamier and give it a bit more mm. So let's get started. Uh, what I'm going to do is roughly slice up your peppers and you're going to roast these, so on a low heat, in a roasting pan, bit of your normal low fat spray, and um, pan spray, and just lightly season it with some pepper, salt, whatever you want. Um, I, I'll probably use some granulated um, garlic and some paprika, and leave that roasting until you get kind of kind of sense of blacken. You don't want it to be burned, but blackens, it kind of sweetens it, releases the flavour, it's so good. You can also roast your, your sweet potato and butter and squash as well if you want. We're going to boil them in the stock with the onions and some garlic. It's going to be, in the words of Jamie Oliver, poker. Some nice and thick slices. Lex is out <clears throat> getting his hair cut. Hopefully topping up his presence list. So I really doubt he has gotten anything. Typical men leave everything for the last minute. He did get me a puppy so I'm not going to complain. Hopefully roughly sliced. You can see it there. I'm just putting it onto a roasting pan. It's going to keep chopping until that pan is full. So I have some highlight. And we just put it into a low settlement. I have the peppers in the oven roasting, so I'll leave them there for about half an hour an hour depending I'll just keep checking on them and make sure they're okay now I'm just going to fry up some of um, the red onion when that's kind of frying up get a bit of flavor going add in a bit of garlic and then I will add in the stock and when I add in the stock then then goes in the um, sweet potato and butternut squash and we just boil it up let it soften and then blitz 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 so put it to a medium heat again your low fat spray and I have this um, handy chopped garlic Again, I am a lazy ass bitch. All my food is quite easy and simple to make. I just create foods that is quick, macro friendly and tasty. As you can see, I'm no cul culinary genius. I just uh, know what I like. Stir that around in the oil. Just so it's brown, you don't want it to burn, you just want to get a nice flavour going. Soften up the veg. And then we have our um, kettle boiled. Uh, this is so simple. Like, hitting your macros and having tasty food isn't just about like keeping it, you know, plain and untasty. You can make such tasty food and still hit your macros. So when I met Lex, I was doing the whole bro thing, I was keeping it really simple, but I like flavour, so I used to add garlic and chilli to a lot of my food regardless. 
And then, then when I met Lex and he was like, you know, you can eat all those things. You can eat, like I wasn't even eating strawberries. I feel guilty about eating strawberries. I've done two shows now, prepped two times for two shows and was, looks the best I've looked in my life on stage. I looked full, I looked healthy and it was true eating what I wanted but just hitting my macros and that wasn't easy just because you're on like a an IIFIM um, diet doesn't mean you're eating pop tarts and you're eating chocolate all the time it's not that much fun I still had like um, I was still in a deficit I was still hungry still tired you know still tough but I still wasn't denying myself any anything that I enjoy if I wanted an ice cream I'd factor it in and I just I'd have to take it from my regular food so it got to the point where I was kind of like do I really want that ice cream? Do I really want it? Or do I want to have a nice big dinner when I go home? So it did, it does make you think about foods and your priorities and what you want to eat. Lex is a lucky bastard. He's like, he's started to shred now and his numbers are like more than my repeat days. So I hate you. I hate your face. No, I don't really. So here is my brownies. These are gonna be so flipping delicious. Oh. So our peppers are ready. And the boiled butternut squash and sweet potato is ready. And all we need to do now is add the peppers to the butternut squash and sweet potato and then we're just gonna blitz it. There is the peppers. So they're in for about 20 minutes. And you can see they're just starting to go black, just perfect. They're just all sweet and uh, sweet potato and butternut squash. This is my new blitzer for making soups and um, you can make sauces, whatever you want. You can use it for your smoothies, for your protein shakes even. And it came with another adjustment um, or head on it that you can use for cutting vegetables or onions or whatever you want to cut. And it's pretty handy and quite inexpensive for how much you can use it and how um, versatile it is. We are now adding the basil. Time to add the quark. So it has a real cream cheese consistency. Stir it through, it will melt in. And just gives it that nice creamy consistency. Voila, healthy soup, a la Mmm, yum.